Hi, my name is Julia Rademacher Wed. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I come from Chicago. And I'm first year, so I'm still figuring out my major. I never had my own room at home really, and so I've never really been able to decorate my own space before. And coming to college, I thought I was going to try and like make it like a Target commercial with aesthetics and matching. But I kind of just ended up throwing a bunch of stuff in a box that was important to me um, and that I might want to remind me of like who I am in a new place. And it all fit really well on the wall. <laughs> and so I really enjoyed having a space where um, no matter what happens in my classes or what new things I'm learning, I come back and I see these things that um, let me know that there are people who care about me, there are things that I've done before I've gotten here. And, um, but also to be in the space that is, like, I have this side of my room that's mine, and it's quiet, and um, it's a place where I can rest. I really love having this windowsill where I can um, decorate with some things from home. I try to keep plants, but they don't always last very long. Um, and then over here I have all of my school uh, notebooks and binders and things I need for classes, and so every day I just switch them out from down um, under the table and put them in my bag. I also have some books on my bedside table to read before bed. Um, over here, I have my wall of just things from my life before college. So I have protest signs from various protests that I've taken part in. I have notes that people wrote me before I left for college, a map because I love geography, and then pictures of people from home. Um, and I've also added a few pictures of my friends from events at college. I also have my bed, obviously, which I kind of change out the, um, I'll either have one or two blankets depending on the season. And then I usually try to work at my desk because uh, it's a desk and that's what it's for. So I also have a few pictures on my desk. This is a picture of everybody at home. And um, I like to keep a workspace so that when I get back from my classes, I can put my computer and my water bottle down as you see, I was working before this. Um, I also have a few things that I needed to put on a surface. And so I have a photo from home. I have my essential oils and my diffuser. And I also have this cool lampstand that was really cheap at Target um, where I can have all my pens and things that I need. Put my phone up here and also use it as a charger. Um, and I actually have my lamp pointed up so that at night it's kind of like a soft light off the ceiling. Um, and then back here I also have jewelry and my course schedule printed out. Um, that just really helps during the first week of classes when I'm not sure where everything is yet. Great. And um, I also have the bags that I take when I'm going out on the hook. So I brought this hook myself um, when I moved in. Okay, so when I got to college, I thought I was going to want to loft my bed for more storage space. It seemed really efficient, but my mom, when I moved here, got me these little storage boxes that are very shallow, and so you can stack them, um, and so they're actually able to fit under the bed. And I also keep my suitcases under here for when I'm traveling. So for me, that's all I need, but for my roommate, for example, she has her bed lofted and has a mini fridge under it, so that uh, makes a lot more sense for her and requires a step stool to get onto her bed, so keep that in mind. My other main storage space is the closet. Um, my closet came with two shelves, and so I just kept them in there, even though you could also take them out and put them in the room. And I have all my clothes hanging up. Um, if you want to take a look inside, I also have a shelf where I keep my shoes and extra blankets and a shelf where I keep my snacks and um, linens for the bed and on top of there I also store some things like um, like an umbrella and things I need for going out and a, and a little fan. There's also a shelf on top of all the clothes that are hanging up that I use um, for some additional things like uh, medical supplies and things like that. And then I have a little hat hook, I have a little mask hook, and my bath caddy is in there as well. My best friend during my senior year of high school um, for my Christmas present left a sticky note in my locker every day for like 24 days. 
and they were all really sweet and also had a lot to do with what was going on in our lives at the time. So I have them up here. People think um, if I'm on a Zoom meeting, they'll think that they're an organizational tool, but they're just a um, nostalgic thing. Another conversation starter on Zoom meetings in my dorm room are these point shoes. I did ballet my entire childhood and in high school, and for one of our performances, we had to dye our shoes different colors to match our dresses that we were wearing. And they're not very functional after you spray paint them because it changes the texture of the shoe. So these shoes are really just decorative at this point, but they often get people talking about dance. Um, and I am continuing to dance at Agnes Scott. I currently take ballet. I'm planning to take modern and jazz in the future. And uh, it's really wonderful because if you do take dance classes and also perform with the company, you can have access to the dance studio anytime. And so sometimes if I feel the need, I can go to the dance studio and just give myself a class on YouTube or just play music and dance. So on my dresser, I also like to keep some space in the middle. I use this as my little drying rack. So if I do, if I wash a dish, I just put it here to soak up the water and let it dry. And then I have my hair things on this side, my jewelry on this side, and some lotions and things right here. Up here, I have not only my point shoes from home, but also this cute little thing from our Agnes Palooza a few weeks ago in the spring. And I also have a Scotty dog that we got during orientation at the beginning of the year. Um, we got to draw on our Scotty dog's um, t-shirts. And so I've also added a little bit of Agnes Scott spirit to my room since coming here. So there were basics like sheets and towels that I knew I would need. Um, and I thought that I pretty much had everything covered. But when I got here, I realized I needed things like dishes and mugs that maybe didn't make the most sense to transport, but also aren't really the same when you get a generic mug versus one that you really loved at home. So I ended up having to bring some of those things back over winter break. Um, but they're also relatively easy to get just like up late for myself when I got here. So um, that was something I overlooked and it was funny because my roommate loves cooking even though we don't have a kitchen and brought like a whole kitchen set. Um, so I also sometimes share some of those things with her. Each of these stars, someone who was at my birthday celebration wrote something about me on it. It was very random. Um, one of my friends wrote like geography because we liked to compete in geography um, games and someone else wrote Keep Calm, Radajam, which is a reference to dance. Someone else wrote Many People Love You. It's really, um, also represents the personalities of the people who made them. A lot of the things in my room come with a lot of meaning. Um, and this particular blanket is, was uh, knit, crocheted, something like that, by my auntie at home, uh, one of my play aunts. And she did a different, it's called a weather blanket. So she did a different row um, for the temperature every day of my senior year of high school. And um, so you can see it starts like in the summer and goes out through the winter and the spring. And I'm from Chicago, so this is probably like a sub-zero day right here. Um, so it's really cool because it's incredibly unique. There's no other blanket with this pattern because it's made just of um, the weather in Chicago every day of my senior year of high school. And it's really special because of the thought that she put into it. Um, but it's also a beautiful blanket to have and very warm. Mm -hmm. The first night I got to college, my roommate had her little art pieces up on her side of the wall and I had not had the time to put everything up on my wall yet. And I just kept looking at her side and I was so drawn to it. And when I come in here, a lot of people notice the bright colors on the wall. They notice that the things here have meaning. Um, and so I'm really pleased that even though I didn't get a color coordinated set, that it is me. Um, and I've also been adding to that. So like I did this embroidery piece and added it to my wall. Um, and I've gone to more protests since I've been in Atlanta and added that to the wall. And so um, for a long time, it was mostly things from home. That reminded me of where I was from, but now it's also becoming who I am at college. Thanks for stopping by. I can't wait to see you on campus.